Друзья мои, всем самое-самое доброе солнечное калифорнийское утро. У нас 9 утра, воскресенье, сегодня 2 мая, Пасха, всех с этим замечательным праздником. А мы решили прокатиться в, один, в одно интересное место, ехать долго. Надеюсь, что будет дорога живописная, и мы все вам покажем. А едем мы в место, где не действует гравитация. А что это? Сейчас с вами скоро и увидим. По этому случаю, кстати, я одела даже платье. Сто лет не одевала платьишки. И муж когда увидел, там говорит, Катя, ты же у меня платьишки? Так что поехали с вами, посмотрим, проведем интересный день и надеюсь, вам что-то хорошее снимем.
все уже все. А, я, ребят. надо ехать за машинами. Ну что, кто? Тебе машет она. Ты вот видишь, смотри, деревья, блин. Дорога и туда, и сюда. Мы приехали, он говорит. Да, вон там уже, видишь, машины стоят на парковке. Интересно, кто место. А ты взяла кошелек? Да. На сумке кошелек. Ребяточки, вот мы приехали, заходим. Сейчас вам снимем, покажем, что там в таком красивом местечке это все находится. Мистер Спот, Санта Круз, Калифорния, Юэсэ. Ангус Чинбургер, можно покушать. А, да, тут можно покушать. Это, это едальня. Бифхот. Да, да, тут не видно. Она не только тут все. Можно покушать, ресторанчик. А, тут и со своим можно прийти. В общем, ребят, тут можно купить вот, вот тут вот покушать. И а, поесть тут. Не темного столика, садись не хочу. А, сейчас пойдем к Виктору Николаевичу узнавать, а, куда нам да дальше. Билетик тут где-то, да, покупать? Надо. А папа в очереди доставит. Да? Мы тебя не видим. Я так понимаю, он заключает сюда резервейшн сделать. Не знаю. Видите, ребят, как, как там люди в этом доме стоят. Мы сели тут в ресторанчике, если это так можно назвать. Вот. Купили бургеры, ребят, гляньте. Мне даже страшно это бургером называть. Ну, в общем. Смешно, конечно. Максим, пойди себе хоть кетчуп сын возьми. Вон там есть, Макс, кетчуп. Нет. Не хочешь? Ну ладно, не все. Мы еще водички взяли, отдали 40 долларов за три бургера. Ну, видеть нечего, я говорю, видите. В глазах, главное, не закрывай, то бургер пропадет. Ну, в общем, тут больше покушать негде, поэтому пока тут едем. Ребят, вот такое оно. Питание. И у Витьки такое. Главное, глаза не закрывать, чтобы не пропал. Еще чипсы дали, правда. Вообще здоровое питание сегодня. Зашли мы в шоп. Ну что там? 40 долларов. Рюмки, стаканы. Чашки, сувенирка, короче. Сделал нам сыночка четкий перевод. Мистическое место. 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 Брелки разного характера. Топ птиц. Ничего, ничего путнего. Тебя снимаю. Не понял ты ничего. Слизняк. Слизняк. В общем, поскольку мы должны до шести ждать, мы пошли на поход. Да. Раз мы олени бельгийские, они сделали заранее регистрацию. 
Мы пошли по горам. Пошли погулять, вот есть трейл. Все равно ждем, пока нас запустят. Походим. Хочешь, походим. А вон там это все дело. Папа вдвойне бельгийский. Здесь комары. Такие, что тапки унести могут. О, мам, ты нас в апартах не видела. Там тоже тапки уносят. Да, мам, они такие большие, что Или одежду. Что это какое-то ограждение, видимо, столбики. Такие большие, что тапки и одежду заберут. А, -а, -а. ну тогда ладно. Кто-то в нем живет? Иди. Где? Дупло. Макс, не лазь, вы можешь кроссовки. Куда? В дупло. Оставляем его тут жить? Ну давай. Там кукурочка. Что там? Кукурочка. Что там? Так аракан. Кукарача. Держи кукурочку. Я ей не доверяю. Я тоже. Я тоже не пошла. Все действовало вон там, видите? В горах в доме находится, а мы вот напротив гуляем. Ждем, пока нас запустят. Подержи минутку, сын. Куда, куда? Вперед. Только вперед. Мам, бери. Без нас ушел. Папа лезет куда-то и нас тащит вот за собой. Это не по-моему, они таблички вешают, а, а, эти... раз, а кустов нет. А самих кустов нет. А кусты уже умерли давно давно. Не, их унесли уже. На сувениры. Там крыса живет. Какая норка, что тебя можно поселить? Значит, ты будешь чесаться. Не, не, не будешь счастлив. Не будешь счастлив, да? Да. Ты тронешь эти цветочки, ты будешь чесаться. Don't touch this plants. They will make you very itchy. Будешь чесаться, короче. Посмеешь тронуть. А, ну, хочу сказать, картинки они тебе разместили, там ничего не прочтешь. Смотри, как этот листик какой прикольный, как клею, да? Или ну да, есть? ты еще что-нибудь потрогай, еще чего-нибудь почешешься. Может, на каких-то не поместили название. Не трожь чесаться, Витя, будешь. Так, Пошли, значит, тебя укусит змея. А то здесь обитаются на горах. Там у них откуда бы мега маршрут экстремальный. Сам туда полезешь. Я туда полезу. Я в платьюшке, папа. И... Что сидит, да? Что сидит? Кто-то сидит, Максим. 
покажу. Олень. Лиля. Он там занят, а вы ему мешаете. А, там какой-то бак, он, смотри. Наверху бак какой-то. Похож на папа. И главное, все надо руками, да, пап? Ну, обязательно. Банки, Пожалуйста, оставайтесь на тропинке. Нет, не Мы, конечно, можем в другое место уйти. Оставайтесь на тропинке. Ты уверен? Уверен. Пару глотков еще сделать. Ну что ты вообще с толку сбиваешь? Ты же видишь, это мошки! Николаевич нашел тут земляничку. Вот так вот. Вот она. В дикой природе. А в непроходных джунглях. В лес. Нога провалилась. Мистер Спот. Спот просто. А что? Сомневался в папиных способностях. Ой, там мы вообще не сомневаемся в твоих способностях. Там не нашел уже нет. Ну иди уже. Господи. Да. Видите, а, дикая природа и шланг лежит. По левой. Папе надо что-нибудь пощупать, да, пап? Нет, ну смотри, почему там мокрое. Mm. Ой, господи. Пытливый Витинг У. Ноги поднимай. Смотри, какие это уже просто новые. Видишь? Да. Этого года, Папа, убери грабли от этих деревьев. Не, ну обратно мне нравится. Гулять. Там еще три часа, ребят, гулять. Максим, нету связи. Ну иди, тебе надо все почупать. Почупать. Хватит все чупать. Почупать. Чупаешь все, чупаешь. Сейчас за тобой автобус приедет. Автобус? Да. И будешь в него осадиться. И на... А остановится этот автобус возле бандюня. <свят> Бандюнь это, ребята, бордюр. Максим так говорил. А садись, это все, на что можно было сесть. Только транспортные средства. Вот. Автобус. Он дол долго не выговаривал. Не автобус, говорил, а автобус. Вот. <свят> Шкафонер. <свят> Шкафонер. А дула лайка. Да, это все слова Максимкины. Видишь, шифонер, а шкафонер был. Нет, 
Погнали их записывать, все твои слова, ты забудем. Помнишь, пап, что не едет, кричит, а садись. Ведь хватит лопищами своими все брать. Скушай еще его возьми. Ну выкини его. Ну уже все. Как-то он еще птиц смешно назвал, но я уже не помню. А дула лайка это была лайка, да, по-моему, была? Ну, шкафонер всем понятно, и так шкафонер. Папа еще подберет, ему надо. Мусор уберу. Мусор уберет. Угу. Посмотри вниз. Ну, тут плохо видно. Плохо видно, посмотри, какие деревья а, здоровые. Ну, вон там, если смотреть, дорога. Вон аж там. Да. Просто там ходили люди. Там... Деревья какие огромные. Деревья Трещит все, да? Вообще классно. Птички поют, сверчки. В городе не слышишь этого, да? Угу. Мы уже спускаемся, ребят. Что мы только будем оставшиеся два часа делать, я не знаю. Вот вам отсюда картинку с высоты в общем ребят мы прошли сейчас у нас будет инструктаж вот этот товарищ проводит зелененькой кофточки рассказ история не, конечно, можно. Да, можно не знаю, сейчас узнаем. Это там, наверное, ты, ну, больше сможешь. No one, all right? So I can say whatever I want and get, get away with it. Perfect. So, really quick, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of this whole place so you guys are caught up where I am right now, okay? So, in 1939, a man by the name of George Prather, he wanted to buy this land from a lump company in order to build his wife a nice summer cabin, okay? But George, he only wanted to buy that land over there, the parking lot area, and that was it. But the lump company that he was buying from told George that he cannot do so unless he also bought this hillside with it as well. So he made a combo deal. Now at first, George, he did not like that idea at all, but inevitably he bought into it and he bought both pieces of land together, okay? Now after he did that, the lump company that he was buying from told George that he could not build anything on the hillside. They told George that it was way too steep and anything you try to build up on a hillside would just come sliding back down and to not do it whatsoever, all right? But really quick, everybody, if we all take a look up this hillside really quick. Now tell me, was George really a good listener? No, no not at all, all right? <laughs> so after he bought that land, he hired surveyors and he told them to go up on that hillside and find me the best spot and location so I can start building this cabin for my wife. But when all the surveyors came back, they found a lot more mysterious things than anyone could have hoped for. The first mysterious thing is that when they were walking up this hillside right here, it was very difficult for them to do so. What I mean by that is, they described it as almost as a force or a presence, pushing back down on them on their shoulders, not letting them reach the top, all right? They also described it as very steep, but if we look at this hillside once again, it doesn't look as steep as what it once described it as, okay? The second mysterious thing is that when they were actually on the hillside and they whipped out their compasses to see where they were and dropped down the location, their compasses for, their compasses for them were not working, okay? And what I mean by that is, it was giving false readings. It'd be saying north to south, east to west, finger circles, not giving them a very, a very fair read, okay? Because yeah, it's like the the third thing while. that they noticed, was that all of these mysterious things they're happening in one area a boundary that boundary range ranges from going up this mountain right here behind you guys it goes, up a way. It goes, across right. it goes around the cabin making the cabin the center of the mystery spot keeps going to the right a little bit then cuts down this mountain to the right of me behind all these redwood trees through me and right here at these cement blocks right here so this is the entry point in the mystery spot so if you guys are standing over here you guys are inside the mystery spot congratulations all right you guys are standing over here 
is unfortunately outside the mystery spot, okay? Not getting that full eight dollars worth that you guys paid for, okay? So really quick, okay? These cement blocks are placed here a very long time ago, okay? In order for us to do our demonstrations and to make sure that the ground right here was nice, even, and flat. But over the years, okay, we had this one tree, this one rubber tree right here growing up. Then on each side, let's take a look at their height difference once again. It looks like I'd say he's just a tad bit tall, okay? I just give him like probably an inch, okay? Now that we know that he's just less than probably an inch taller, now you guys can switch spots on each other and see oh, if anything mysterious happens. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys see he grew a lot more, okay, buddy? I'm so sorry you shrunk. He's taller height than me, okay? So now give them a big round of applause, all right? So basically, how this is her, how this is working right now, okay, is if I'm standing right here, outside of the mystery spot. Now I right now I'm standing nice, straight up, and tall, okay. But when I start making my way inside the mystery spot, guys, now there's actually a change that just occurred to me. Right now I'm actually leaning by three degrees, okay. But I'm not the only one leaning by three degrees. Everything inside the mystery spot right now is leaning by at least three degrees of his feet. I'm leaning at least two degrees. These trees are all leaning at least three degrees. You guys are leaning at least three degrees. And I say at least, because as we make a rep closer to the center of the mystery spot, aka that cabin, that degree lean, we just keep increasing and increasing all the way up to whopping 17 degree lean. And speaking of 17 degree lean, I want to redirect, I want to redirect all you guys' attention to this Life Magazine photo up on that wall, okay? So, this was published in 1948. And just upon looking at the photo, yeah, there's a lot of mysterious things going on in the photo, okay? So, let's just get the obvious out of the way. Now, why is the tooth pants so high up, okay, you may ask? But that's not the mysterious part, okay? It's that 17 degree lean like I was trying to tell us about right now. And that photo was actually taken up there in that cabin. So you guys be experiencing that same exact lean that there in that photo, okay? And may I point out one more thing to you guys, actually. That that woman's name in that photo right there. Now, her name, believe it or not, is actually Eileen. <laughs> yeah, we all get it, all right, guys? Perfect. If you guys did like that joke, you're going to love the tour. If you guys did not like that joke, I'm sorry, no refunds. Now, with that said, we're going to be making our way up to the first hillside right here to the first courtyard. So you guys all can follow me this way, all right? Как Айлин переводится на на русский? Короче, если будет плохо, то надо скрестить руки, как он показывал. Если будет плохо, да? Да. Да, чувствуется. А что чувствуется? Ну что, на, на, на эти складывается вес. А, ну, на понятно. ноги. Ну, потому что ты в самую горку идешь. Пап, ты так смешно идешь. Да? Да, как будто тебе, знаешь, тяжело. Я не знаю, как мы выглядим. Но ты выглядишь, как будто ты по скале идешь. Угол такой большой. I heard some it's fun, some uh-uh's, yeah, no. But I'm waiting for someone who was that fun, okay? You guys soon realize you did not only pay for the most mysterious tour in Santa Cruz County, but also the one with the most extras as well, all right? Got the most bang out of your buck. With that said, we're going to be making our way inside this first courtyard, okay? But before we do, I need to give a quick disclaimer to everyone here, okay? That once we enter this first courtyard and be on a tour, some of us here, we may start feeling sick, okay? But do not worry, that's completely normal. That's gonna come with some nauseous dizziness. But do not worry, we think that goes away in about, I'd say, two, two to three weeks, okay? So now, with that said, let's all start making our way into this first courtyard. Right? 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 Just following a line, all right? We're gonna be making a big U shape right here, guys. Big U shape along these walls right here. Big U shape, okay? So you guys can start making a right down this way as well, all right? Big U shape. Чувствуется. Ну вокруг надо стать просто. We're gonna be making a U shape. Дом такой кривой. Ну. This piece of wood right here inside this cabin, okay? Now. Really I'm gonna now take out, let's just say, my ordinary pool ball, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this ball right here in the middle. Now, can I get a show of hands? If I were to let go of this ball, who here thinks that this ball would roll outside the cabin? Show of hands. No one, all right? Now show of hands, if I were to let go of it, who, who here thinks the ball's rolling inside the cabin like that? Show of hands. Oh yeah, most of us, all right? Who here thinks that if I let go of it right now, the ball it's not gonna do anything. So stay where it is right now. Show hands. Or just do, do us, okay? So now, for the moment of truth, can I get a drum roll, please? What? Look at that, all right? It's safe in the middle. Nothing happens to it, okay? 
But hey, what if I just give it a little momentum push inside the cabin? Then what would happen? And then it comes rolling back out. Now, okay, this is the part where people are having skeptical of everything. They first think that, hey, maybe I'm the magician, okay? Maybe I'm like David Blaine or Chris Angel. Now, if I were a magician, what would I need? I would need a sleight of hand all right now. If I do not sleight of hand, guys, I will not be I will not be staying here and getting paid minimum wage, okay? So any fool can do this, all right? So if you guys don't, so you guys don't think I'm a magician. Now you think something could be rigged, all right? A lot of theories is that this board is rigged. That the groove in the board is like a V shape, which results in the ball pushing back out once it's a, once it's a certain spot on the board over here in this area. Now if that were true, we just need bumpy and put the board and, sh and does show that it does go in both directions because one direction sucks, all right? Now once again, I'll place the ball right here. I'll even give it a little bigger push inside the cabin, as you see. And these same exact results happens come rolling back down once again. Now. You may think the ball is rigged, Damien, we figured it out. You rigged the ball, right? Maybe you put a motor in here. Maybe a magnet. Or maybe you're pulling a string right now. Or maybe it runs out of batteries and embarrasses me, all right? Or if I give a little bit of push like that, it's still gonna come rolling back out, all right? So, if you guys don't believe the ball, does anyone here have a cylindrical device I can use? Maybe a chapstick or lip balm I can borrow. Do you have a no, it's fine. Any chapstick or lip balm to get for this next one. Maybe even a water bottle could work for this demonstration, all right? What? Fall off the other side. Not a single drop inside the cabin over here. No, so, no, you guys have seen this ball. You guys have seen the water. You're probably wondering, why is this happening right now, Damien? What is going on? Well, it is a mystery, all right? Now, with that said, we're going to make our way inside this first cabin. And when we're inside that, I'm going to make a few demonstrations. So during the time, I'm going to ask you guys to hold on to the photos. Because after that, I'm going to take a photo. We're 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 going to take a photo. So now with that said, you guys can follow me inside the cabin, all right? Я как-то туда не пойду. Залез, залез. Тебе разрешали? Yeah. All right, we almost got everybody inside. Just a few more people than we get started. Ты фотка тут будешь? Я тебя не снимал. Ты фотку сможешь вырезать? Наверное, да. All right, so now that we are, as we are starting away, okay, now that we're all inside this cabin, okay, we all start to experience that in 17 degree lead, like I was talking to you guys about before at the beginning of the tour, okay? But even though we're all experiencing the same exact thing together, when I'm standing on the table, this lead is very intensified, as you guys can see, so what you're on here, uh, feel free to do go post it, right? If you're Superman, if you're Titanic, whatever you guys please, all right? It's get on and get off using this ladder, looking to my left as well, okay? So now, we're gonna make, make our way to the second room to finish up demonstrations. No, to finish up demonstrations. So you guys can make your way to the second room right now, right? Oh. Why are you going to go to the room? Go and get out of the room. Okay, pendulum, okay? And how the pendulum works, okay? Now I'm going to ask you guys if I can have you, you three scoot over just a little bit over here. Just clear this area right here, all right? So, I think you're fine right there. Just you two over here, just a little bit more. I think that's fine right there. Okay, so. How the pendulum works is if I were to give it a certain amount of mass and force to one direction, okay? And I were to let go of it. That same amount of mass and force would be equally distributed to the other side, all right? So if I let go of the pendulum from all the way up here, you see it doesn't really go to full distance, all right? But if I just give it a little push in this direction right here and let go of it, it goes all the way to the back to the wall, okay? Now people said that this could be magnetized, right? Maybe magnetized to the wall, and also magnetized to the wall as well. Like I show you guys, it's not the case because this ball is 100% made out of lead, okay? Also, it's a 32 pound ball, okay guys? So if you want to push it this way, I only need a few fingers. It's not that hard, all right? But if you want to push it back this way, I need to put a lot more pressure force so I should move in this direction, okay? And there's also a slope and a ladder you guys can use in the same room as well. So now it's gonna be his own time, hang on the camera, photos, videos, or whatever are totally acceptable. <laughs> Свети порешали что-то обман вестибулярного аппарата. Now, 
Funny thing about this bench that I'm standing on right now, it was actually made for these people to go outside, take a seat on, rest up on when they, when they were done with the cabin. But over the years, when it places some mat here, actually overtook the bench, so unfortunately, we cannot use it for sitting. But if we're not going to use it for sitting, we can definitely use it for our demonstrations, all right? So I'll take my level, all right? And I'll place it right here on this bench. Now, can someone from the audience tell me where this bubble currently is located right now? Where is it? And we're going to go and see where this bubble is right now. It's on the left side, alright? Meaning, like I told you guys about before at the beginning, if the bubble's on the left side, it means the left side is the higher end. Meaning, that right there is the higher end of the bench, right? Here's the lower end, okay? Just show you guys that it is actually on the incline. Once again, if I were to take my ball, okay? And I would place it right here on top of this bench, okay? No, it's not it's gonna roll downhill. That's not, that's not the mysterious huh? part though. The mysterious part about it comes into play is if I were to stand right here on the lower end. Now, if I'm standing on the lower end, if I'm gonna walk from downhill to uphill, what should probably happen to me? I should probably get maybe a little bit taller in height, okay? So if I stand right here at the lower end, I walk all the way this way uphill. Now guys, did I get taller? No. But did I get shorter? Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot shorter. But if I walk this way downhill, I must get shorter because it's downhill. But instead, I actually get taller. Okay, now, people said over the years that this could all be an off collusion caused by this roof line right here, okay? And I thought the same exact thing the first time I came to Mrs. Floyd as well. But to prove to you guys, that's not an off collusion. I'm now going to need five volunteers with a specific amount of heights, okay? So really quick, is anyone here taller than six feet and not just on Tinder? <laughs> How tall are you, sir? Six feet. Six feet. You want to help us out? Yeah. Thank you so much. You can stand right there at the very end of the bench face towards the audience. Now, is anyone here six feet exactly? Five nine. Five You're five nine. I'm five eleven. You're five. That can work. You want to help us out? Thank you. All right, right next to him, face towards the audience. Now, is anyone here five nine? Yeah. <laughs> you can stand right there in the middle. All right. Is anyone here not five seven? Five sevens, five sevens. No, anyone here close to five seven around that five eight, five six area? Around there? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can go. Yep. Oh. Right next to him. All right. And now, is anyone here? How are you? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you were proud right there. I'm sorry, you're standing. All right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, really quick, as you guys can all see, we have just created the AT and T bar. All right. So I'm not gonna get out there that much. So, if you guys are all taking a look to your left, you see everyone's increasing height. If you guys take a look to your right, everyone's decreasing height. Mm. Except for you, sir. If you look to your right right now, you'd be looking at a fence currently. Okay. <laughs> so, if you guys are all taking a look to your left and right like this, unless you really look all the way over your shoulder. Now, can you really notice the roof line behind you? Unless you look all the way. No, not really. It's a little bit difficult, okay? So now that we know that, I want you on the end right here and you on the end over there to switch spots with each other. And then I want you two in between him and you two switch around him. So you in the middle, you find where you are. And these two, yep, just like that, all right? And now, as you guys can see, as the tallest person in the group, 6'2", guys, as he walked uphill, He's now one of the shortest people in this group, all right? And as the shortest people, five, five, as he walks down, he's now one of the tallest people here, all right? How do you feel? Feel pretty tall, all right? And actually, we do offer marriage counseling here at the Mystery Spot because we can make couples here see eye to eye with each other, all right? Now, really quick, okay? We're going to have you on the end right here and you on the end over there. Switch back one more time and that's it. Okay, guys? Now, really quick, okay? We're going to have you on the end right here and you on the end over there. Switch back one more time and that's it. Perfect, all right? And now you see when they revert back to their original positions. He is back 6 2, feeling good about himself once again. <laughs> and for you, unfortunately, back to 5 5, all right? Hey, come back here tomorrow though, pay another $8 to put you on that side permanently, okay? And that sounds like a plan. Now, before we have you guys get off the bench, I have one more test for you. Guys. It's going to be a balanced test. So, I want you guys to look at this wooden line right here, okay? Now, place one hand over your stomach like this. One hand behind your back like this. Now look at that wooden line I just showed you. I want you guys now from the waist up to get as close as you can to touching that wooden line. So waist up like I'm doing, touching that wooden line. And now give them a round of applause, everybody. All right, thank you, thank you. Now, for this last demonstration, okay, I just need one volunteer. Any height, it does not matter, all right? I think I said, yep, you want to help us up? Thank you, all right, you can stand right there at that very end, okay? You can face towards me, all right? Let me put this there really quick. All right, perfect. So. I'm gonna place my level right here, okay? Now tell me, should I raise it or should I lower it to be even with your eye level? So if you're looking all the way straight, all right, are you looking at the level or if it's a little, a little bit lower, a little higher? A little higher? All right, so is that fine or a little bit higher? Higher. That's fine right there? Or anyone else? All right, so now I want you to walk all the way forward to the end of the fence for me really quick. Oh, yeah, you're going all the way forward? And look at that, guys, as she walks all the way uphill. 
She lost a significant amount of difference. This is a nine inch level, just letting you guys know. She lost about more than nine inches of difference when she walked up here, okay? I'm sorry that you shrunk, but hey, give her a big round of applause, all right? <laughs> All right, y'all. So we've been on this tour together for about, I'd say, around 40 minutes. Okay, we've seen a lot of weird and we've seen a lot of wax up together throughout this tour. So you guys have probably been wondering to yourselves, okay, what is going on here? What is the mystery behind the mystery spot? So if you guys finally all want to know that answer, please raise your hand. Awesome, guys. But guess what? I'm raising my hand too because I don't know the mystery, okay? Now, if I didn't know, it would not be called the mystery spot anymore. It would then be called the solve spot, okay? And it's not very attractive for tourists to come to the solve spot. But I'm not gonna leave you guys here empty-handed. We do have a few theories on why these mysterious things are happening in this area, okay? Our first theory is that in the ozone layer above us, there's a hole, and coming through that hole is a light. And that light is refracting upon all of us right now, which is why we see some weird leans and trees and people that we're not supposed to be seeing at the moment, okay? Our second and most popular theory is that right beneath us, there's a pool of magma that is rotating in the direction opposite of the Earth's rotation, which creates a gravitational vortex, all right? And that's why you guys fall out of the portion of the cabin a few moments ago. Our third theory is that in 1989, an earthquake by the name of Lone Priyad hit, okay? And that earthquake actually created a fault line that runs through the mystery spot, okay? And that fault line has been extinguishing and exhaling hallucinogenic gas, okay? So about for the past 40 minutes, guys, we've all been taking a group trip together, okay? And that's something you guys cannot give for $8 anymore in Santa Cruz. And for our last and final theory, all right, we got aliens, all right? Now, an alien station from a long time ago crashed and it was buried right there under the cabin by George Prather himself, okay? Now, we tried digging it up and looking for that spaceship, okay? But that spaceship is unfortunately long gone. However, there are still rumors that the aliens are still alive here. They're roaming around. And they're dressing up as Mr. Spot. I'll hand these out to you guys. You guys can grab one, enter the same way you entered, but this entered the left side of the coast. Gift shop area. And I want to thank you guys so much for coming. And have a great rest of your for evening here in Santa Cruz, California. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming to the Mystery Spot. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Awesome. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you so much, alright? Thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much, alright? Thank you so much, alright? Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you guys so much, alright? Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Oh, did you get? Oh, I like that little. That's pretty cool, alright? Thank you. No problem. You guys are awesome today. Thank you so much, alright? It was great. Ему очень твоя панда понравилась. Alright, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you so much, alright? Thank you for now, we thought that was too easy, I invite you to walk up and down again and again and tell your friends about it. Слушай, Лидия, скольки же они водят эти туры? Все, спускаемся, ребятки. В общем, загадка дома не ясна, но у меня такое чувство, что это просто обман вестибулярного аппарата. Да, пап? Не, ну ты видела, когда он положил в уровень, бульбашка была в левую сторону, mm -hmm. ну, как бы наклон, mm -hmm. получается, положил да, шарик, а он покатился шарик вверх. Да, да, я видела. Ну, вот, вот это вот непонятно, да. Он говорит, что как бы, эта гора, она, это, очень большой дебри. Mm -hmm. На, наклон? Граб. может быть, это граб. Наверное, последнее уже даже окошко закрыто с билетами. Все, уезжаю. Панда. Хвост у панды. Так пусто, тут хорошо уже, то приехали, было людно. На замок такой повесили.
Thank you.